Three points, three goals, and a very good all afternoon all around here, would you say? Yeah, definitely. Um, really pleased with the result and uh, the performance. I thought we um, probably lacked a little bit of energy uh, in the second half. It's understandable. The lads have put a massive shift in over the last two or three weeks. Um, and you know we we uh, we don't change the, the team much, so you know it's generally been the same players. But um, you could see you know towards the end it was, there was a little bit of tired legs, but overall a fantastic win. And um, you know really pleased to keep the clean sheet as well and score three goals. So yeah, it's a, it's a good afternoon for us all. Going back to that clean sheet, it's uh, not number nine of the season. Uh, were you pleased with that coming into the game? Because we've been scoring goals. I suppose it's been at the back. Is that why you wanted to tidy up? No, no. Listen, it's, you know we we defend as a team anyway. So if we ever don't uh, keep a clean sheet, there's always issues right throughout the team. It's not just down to the back four. So and the goalkeeper, you know, it's, it's about a team. And um, you know, we, I thought we we did it well. I thought we give uh, some cheap free kicks away in the first half. That, that gives the opportunity opposition to to uh, get set pieces but uh, I thought we tied that up in the second half um, and uh, no it was, it was good you know we obviously we've uh, we had to change the team a little bit you know losing Liam so so early and um, to a, a gash on his shin so um, but you know Tom Walker slipped into centre midfield well and obviously Dennis has come on and scored a fantastic goal so uh, it's been a, a good afternoon but no it's uh, scoring three goals clean sheet players work exceptionally hard on both sides of the game you know um, and I thought we uh, we passed the ball better today I thought we we moved it quicker we took less touches we uh, we were unselfish with our play and I thought there was some uh, good passes to play throughout the game two devastating first half minutes as well which put us into the tuna lead the most important part would you say yeah, well, it gave us uh, you know the breakthrough. Of course, you know at home, you know the longer it goes on at home without scoring, you know sometimes it could be a, f a frustration that, that kicks in. But um, you know, I thought uh, you know the the first goal in the second, minute, like you say, in quick succession, I thought took the stuffing out of haven't for a little bit. Um, I thought we could have um, gone on and got another one before half time if we could. But we had to make sure that we we didn't come off our defensive discipline and we we couldn't you know get a little bit sloppy and lazy. But I didn't think we did that. I thought the players uh, kept the discipline really well. And um, you know, until the third goal goes in at right at the end, you have to be uh, ready because you know uh, a glimmer of hope for, for having would have been a, a goal. And if you know two one at home after being in control would have been a dangerous score for us. So you know, the third goal put it to bed and late on, but it was a, a fantastic finish. He pleased with Dennis to get his first goal for the club as well. Yeah, I think he, you know I think he showed that since uh, the first game he came on. Um, he looks a real goal threat. He scores all the time in training, you know, right and left foot. We've seen him mainly playing off the left, but played off the right in training the other day. So we we, we felt he was uh, he was comfortable to go on there because he can go right and left foot. Um, and he showed you know, some real good all-round ability. He's got to learn a little bit about the, the game management and doing the right things at the right time. But certainly he's a talent, and um, we you know the, the goal wasn't a surprise to, to anyone who's trained with him and, and coached him because he's uh, he's got that ability. And just finally, as you said before, there's 20 games unbeaten now. Is it going to come to an end? <laughs> As if you jinx it like that, mate. <laughs> now, listen, it's um, it, it's uh, it's great credit to the players and the discipline and focus because you know we we don't take winning for granted. I don't think anyone should. I think every game that you win is is um, is something to be appreciated. So, uh, and it's easy to I think to take football for granted sometimes, and certainly good results. So we don't do that. We keep the, the players' feet on the ground, but you know, without you know, detriment to their confidence because they're, they're a great team, really, really uh, efficient in what they do. They're, they're, they work exceptionally hard on the training pitch, and and you get the results on on the match days. So, uh, but we won't take anything for granted. And, you know, and the, and the previous 19, 20 games will not win us the points in our next game. It's about making sure we do the job properly on the day, and uh, that's what we'll be focusing on in training this week.